Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. And we got Miss Shelby today. So Shelby is going to her very first official vet visit um, for our veterinarian because she's going to get her rabies shot, which is going to prepare her um, in two weeks. She'll be able to go on the schedule to get a spade. So Shelby will get a spade and then she'll be all set and ready to go. They're gonna check her out and make sure she's doing good too. So I'll bring you along. Let's see how this goes. She's a little bit scared, but you can tell um, she's doing okay. She's like, why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to me? All right, Shelby, come on, come on girl. Come on baby, come on. Okay, let's go around this way. Let's go around this way, Hip, this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on Shelby. Shelby, come on. Good girl. Okay, he's only 3'9". 3'9". 3'9". So when you come in the next time, if he's 4 pounds... This is her treat. Yes, sir. Shelby, look what you get. Hmm? You're being a good girl? Oh, yes. You mean use this card laying right here? Yes, ma'am. Is it. that... Oh, you dropped it. You better get it. You better eat your treat. Peanut yes, butter and banana. All right, so... If you guys wonder what Shelby weighed, why don't you put your guesses down in the comments right now? She's uh, she's ready to go home, but I will tell you what she weighed when we get home. Does that sound good, Shelby? Shelby. Shelby. How much do you weigh? You want to tell them? You want to tell them? All right, we'll tell them just a little bit. So Shelby has calmed down so much. She's not shaking anymore. She's not scared anymore. We stopped by the post office and got a couple Christmas cards from some subscribers. So we're gonna head back to the house and let Shelby free. So, Jojo, did you miss Shelby while she was gone? Did you miss her? Did you miss her? Did you miss her? Jojo's like, no, I didn't miss her. I thought being an only dog child was the, the best thing about being on the back porch by myself and having my sister Zena in the pen. But now you got this other little fuzzy dog. I'm sorry, Joe, but I think you like Shelby. At least you tolerate her well. Yeah, you do a good job of that. So today is the day before the cold, cold weather moves in. Uh, we've got Shelby taken care of now. So now it's time for me to start doing the chores. You may be wondering where Cassie's at. Well, she is um, on her first day of Christmas break and her sister, um, her sister's job had some rugs that came up and were available, nice rugs, for free. So Cassie went over to get those rugs and um, I think she's delivered those to the school. So I'm gonna come out here and start the chores. Hey Geronimo. Wanna get their stock tank full. So while I'm waiting for the water to fill up, I went ahead and got the pigs some food. Let's go over here and see where they're at. Hey, Junie, Cooney, you guys ready to eat? You ready to eat? Okay, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. All right. All right, so. Most of you probably are aware of what's going on with the weather, but if you're not, we're gonna be getting a chance of snow tomorrow, an inch, maybe two inches, not a lot, thankfully. And tomorrow night, it's gonna be zero degrees is the low. So I know a lot of you think zero is not that cold. It gets that cold here all the time. Well, in Oklahoma, zero is cold and wind chills of negative 19 are forecasted. So I am gonna prep up today and put out extra hay um, get everything prepared as much as possible but the good news is in about three or four days the highs are going to be uh, well above freezing and next week at this time it's supposed to be 60 degrees so just stick around in Oklahoma if, if you don't like the weather it'll go it'll change any any time so let's see get in the water 
Yes, Geronimo. I'm right here. You think it's time to eat, buddy? Huh? Okay. Okay. Just give me a minute. So I was not even planning on recording for you guys out here because not a lot of updates, but I ran into two different problems and I have another problem waiting on me. So you just never know when you have animals and you have a farm, homestead, whatever you call this, uh, there's always something going on. Right now, I got a rooster out and a turkey out. And I think he'll fly over if I can chase him down. Dude, I will catch you and throw you over the fence. <sighs> told you. I told you I would throw you over. Zena, leave it. Zena, leave it. Hey, you come over here. All right, so I had to come through on one threat. And then, let's see if I can get this rooster. He's not a big deal. I can catch him at any moment. I actually threw him out a little feed right here to let him eat. Rue, can I catch you? Can I catch you? All right, I'm gonna get the net for you in a minute. So, I spotted another problem out here in our goat pen. So let me show you it. It's just uh, one of those days, I guess. Looks like somebody decided to stick their head in our... <sighs> Seriously? What's going on, buddy? All right. Let me see if I can put this down and get this goat out. Zena, come. I think that little dude has been stuck for a little while. Zena, come on, girl. Come here. Let her get her grips about her, okay? Let her get her grips. Zena. Zena. Zena, back. Zena, back. Come. Good girl. Some Somebody commented the other day, said they were a dog trainer, and they were very impressed on Zena's um, comeback. They said she did, does a very good job to come back when she's called. So, all right, Zena, just leave her alone. Leave her alone, baby. Come on. She's okay. She's okay. She's okay. Hey, she's okay. Let her have her wits about herself before you start messing with her. That's problem number two. Does the rooster count as problem number three? Let me go get a net and I'll fix him and get him back in. All right, so I'm gonna fix his problem right now. Let's see if I can get this set up a little bit over here. Is he in come? There you go. All right, everything is now right in the poultry world and the front pen. So let's go see what other problems we got. All right, so we just finished getting our water ready for the goats we got our feed for the highlands our feed for the cows some goat feed and chicken feed so jojo oh you're gonna load up buddy come on you gotta run and jump come on come on get up get up come on joe. there you go good boy good boy joe i knew you could do it all right let's go joe jojo what are you doing you like riding the four-wheeler huh
get you guys some feed. There you go. Go to town on that. Here, Black Bear. Here, Black Bear. Come on. Come on. Come on. Woo. Hey, X. Come on. Oh, Black Bear, did you get run off your feed? Here, let me take care of that. You leave Black Bear's feet alone. Get back over there and eat your own food. You know better than that. How's that, Black Bear? Is that better? Jojo, could you keep the peace for me if I asked you to? Would you do that? Somebody's got to. These cows are ruthless. So the last animals we're going to feed right this moment is going to be the highlands. And uh, I'm actually going to feed them over in um, our holding pen because I want to get one of them up and um, give her a shot. She, she's kind of um, had a little cough the last few days and I talked to the vet and um, showed him a video of what's going on. And so I've got some medicine that we're going to give to her. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know how that will go. But one way to find out, let's do it. One good thing about it, modern technology now is, um, let me get through here. For some reason, if I'm not able to get her up, then we can borrow a um, gun um, that will basically shoot a syringe towards her from my father-in-law. And that will work as well. So. I'm going to try to get her up though and try to get her in this um, uh, gate over here. If we can do that, great. If we can't, then we'll go the alternative route. So let's see what happens. All right, so I got this gate opened up. Uh, that's Ellie right here. Come on, girls. There we go. All right, so I gave them a little trail of range cubes right here for them to come up. And uh, now I'm going to go try to get the last cow that's not up and see if i can get her come on cc now there's cc and reba all right so i got her in here she wasn't happy about it but i'm not in the uh business to make cows happy i'm in the business to keep cows alive keep them healthy as possible so our problem with this cow is that she has been a little bit lethargic and yesterday i saw her coughing so I know that we've got bad cold weather coming up. Let's go, let's go. We've got bad cold weather coming up. Hey, hey. Okay, she's, she's caught on now. She knows what's up. So I'm gonna get her in that chute though. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, there we go. All right, well. My backup will be here in just a little bit, Cassie, so I'll take care of her then. I ain't quitting on her. So the last animals we're going to check on before we check in with Cassie is the bird herd. So the bird herd is our uh, goats slash chickens back here in the back. And I'm going to have to keep a close eye on them in this weather. If we get too much ice um, on those nets, they kind of get weighed down. So I'm gonna, I'll keep a close eye on it, though. You guys ready to eat? All right, let me get you some food. I apologize for the rockiness doing this one-handed while you're in a little bit of a hurry is a little bit tough. I've got probably four or five bales of hay I'm gonna set out today. So to make sure that the cows have plenty of hay when it's zero degrees, there's a risk that my tractor won't start because it's too cold. Now this new one probably will, but uh, I've had issues in the past and I do not want to have hungry cows and no hay. So I'm gonna make sure that we have plenty of hay out for the next um, three or four days and that'll get us past the super cold parts of the cold spell. And then when it comes, hey, you goats get out of here. I see what the problem is. He's came over here. Get back there, Billy Goat Gruff. All right, 
he tries to come eat the girl's food. I don't like it. All right. Everybody's got some. Everybody's got some. These short days, we don't put lights out here in our coops at all. So these short dates days lead to no eggs for us. So with all these chickens, you think we might get one or two eggs, but nope. No eggs on some days, and then other days we'll get one or two. But springtime will be here before you know it, and we'll start getting a, a lot more eggs. Well, looks like Missy followed me all the way back here to get a little bit of grain. So I don't have a heart not to give her a little bit. Here, Missy. Here, Missy. Here you go, baby. Go ahead. It won't hurt you. Well, no. While Missy finishes that grain up, I'm gonna get some water for the goats. Um, we don't have a heater back here. So what I'll do is come back here. I'll try to keep these about two thirds of the way full and I'll come back here and top them off in the morning. I'll add some and in the afternoon I'll add some. And what that does is lets them drink uh, at least twice a day because we just don't have any electric back here. So we, we can't do stock tank heaters or anything like that. But on these cold days when it's below freezing all day, we'll still make sure the animals get water to drink twice a day no matter what and that will give them um, an opportunity to drink when they're thirsty uh, morning and evening so it's twice as much work when we get cold weather so if you ever hear a farmer complaining about the snow or ice it's not because they don't like it it's because they have to work extra hard uh, when it comes along ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ha, 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 Zena, quiet. Ha, 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 ha. I'll go around. If we can get two or three of them, that's fine too. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, shh. Come on, come on. Hey. Come on. Hey. Come on, come on, Poppy. Yeah, I tell her, Poppy. Hey, hey, shh. Hey, 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 there she goes, there she sees because of the other one. Hey, Gina. Oh. See if we can get this one out. Yeah, let her come out. Come on, Ellie. Oh, I just got kicked. Okay. You're just bleeding a little bit. Oh, your nose is bleeding good. Here, look up. Why'd you get that close, babe? I thought I was, got the thing on me. It's okay. Here, hold this. Here, take this off. Take it all off. I have to go to the hospital. Are you serious? Yep, hold it. Don't look up, just hold it. Okay. Can Hang we on. try to get a shot in here? Here too. Huh? You got a gash on the top. Okay, can we try to get the shot? Huh? Why'd you get close? Quit. Stay back. You gotta flip that thing before you do it. Stay I know. back. I know. The, this hit you? I don't know, babe. We just, I would like to get a shot if we can. You okay? Yeah. You gotta let it quad up. Don't, don't blow it. Okay, let's just... How about he hurting? It's not hurting, but it's... Is it choking you? Let me see. Let me see the top. Yeah, he got a lot of blood. Here. Stay over there. The more right. you move, the more you're going to bleed. All right, update is we got her shot. So now Cassie's going to back up. Just back up all the way right here with me. Gary does what he did what he knows better. I knew better, but I thought that I, I thought it was locked, and it wasn't. So I'll just back up, just pull that gate back. Just stay there, 
babe, I got it. The more you move, the more your blood flows. All right. Let them all the way out. Yeah, we're going to open that gate over there. Right over here in the corner. So, if you didn't know, I got a blow to the nose from a horse a long time ago and uh, broke my nose in three places. But I don't think it's that bad right now. Yeah. My nose isn't that bad. It's a, it's a bridge or wherever it cut. Well, there's good news and there's bad news. Good news is the bleeding stopped. Bad news is Cassie doesn't think I'm as handsome as I was. Is that about? We hadn't told the kids that we were going to do something this evening. Is that about right? I didn't hear what you said. I said, you don't think I was, I'm as handsome as I used to be. Oh, you look so tough. Oh. So Gary wants to give it time and see if it will quit bleeding instead of going to the emergency room. So, did you show them what you look like? Yeah, they, they seen what I look like, <laughs> but. So this, is, the one up his nose is stopping the bleeding that was just pouring out. And this is the cut on the top. And I'm also holding pressure on the, I'm holding pressure on the sides of my nose to add pressure. So Cassie is going to, Put out the hay for us, right? Yeah, it's been a long time since I drove a tractor, not gonna lie. It's okay. So first things first is we got Especially gotta a John Deere. I don't have to put in a brick or anything. So at this point, I maybe should just be on the tractor. I don't know, but Cassie needs to learn it either way. So there's no time like the present. This is such a mess. All right, we're gonna put another bell out right here for the highlands uh, behind these hay bales to get a little bit of a wind block. Are you a tractor pro now? Oh yeah. You got this? All right. Tell me where you want them. All right, I'll do it. You still bleeding? Hope not. I'm holding it tight. Well, not how we thought our day was going. Not exactly. I'll go park and I'll be back. That's okay though. Look at me. What's up? All right, you got your wallet? I'm, I'm making sure I got everything. All right, oh. love you. I'll be in there after I park. Okay, see you in a minute. What'd you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, get out of here ASAP. You should see the other guy, huh? That's right. You can't see the whole story here. All right, you got cleaned. You got a shot. Got you a gonna shot. Live. Got my tetanus. Good for 10 years. That's like 2032 now, so bring on the injuries, I guess. So, what's next? Uh, I'll put some kind of bandages on it. They said two stitches or strips, and you chose strips. I chose them, but then the nurse that just came in and said she don't think they could put stitches there anyway, so it's in a bad spot. So. All right, let's see the damage. I can't see it because... I think you're going to have some black eyes. I don't have a mirror. You even have dry blood on your lip. Is this going to make me look tough, Cassie? Oh, you look so tough. Oh, thanks. At least I'm somebody's... so hungry. Where are we going? Uh, well, we had steaks we were going to grill, and that didn't get to happen, but that'll happen tomorrow. And if CeCe keeps it up, it might happen again. <laughs> so you saw the video footage from the emergency room slash urgent care. And guess what? I feel a hundred times better today. And I told you something bad was coming and it is here. So let me show you. Woo. It's about eight or 10 degrees right now. The wind is blowing. It's 
So we went to the emergency room last night after thinking about it. Um, we actually did get the shot in the cow. So I didn't get to tell you guys because I was going to tell you after the fact that uh, Cece, the day before, um, I saw her coughing and she was laying down more often than the other cows and she kind of was slow to get up, just kind of being a little bit lazy and lethargic. So I contacted the vet, took a quick video of her, um, gave, her all, gave him all the descriptions and he gave me a shot to give her. And so that's what we were trying to do was give Cece that shot. I really, really was in a hurry because I wanted to do it before the cold weather moved in and we needed to put out um, five bells of hay. So one to the highlands, two in the holding pen for the Angus, two out in the pasture. And we actually got the hay put out as well. So after, after um, the incident happened, after we gave the shot, and before we went to the emergency room, we got all the hay put out for the cows. So I, I know that I made a mistake um, I got too close to the, to the bar without my hand being there, and I uh, should have had a rubber strap on that catcher to make it catch every time it goes past one of the bars. So, lesson learned. I will try to do better next time, but that's farm life. That's what happens. Um, the animal, though, did come first. Even though I was hurt, uh, we still got the shot in her because she needed that, and I didn't want to turn her out and try to start all over especially in the weather we're looking at right now. So that's what's going on here with catching up with the walkers. Also, I told you guys um, on our last video, I may be trying to do the repair um, on my Toyota Tacoma. And you can see right here, this is where um, our strut broke right there, right towards the, towards the bottom. So um, I've got a couple new struts. Uh, I'm gonna do the chores today. And then I might bundle up and work on this, or I might just wait until it's warmer because I want to have a few days off around Christmas break. And even though it's about eight degrees right now, in one week from today, it's supposed to be 60 degrees. So this isn't a priority. It's, it's not even four wheel drive, it's two wheel drive. So I might wait until it warms up a little bit to, to take care of this. But I want to thank each and every one of you guys for following along with our family. Without you, um, we wouldn't be videoing, wouldn't be possible. Um, last thing, before I forget, I told you to guess Shelby's weight at the vet. This is a long video, I'm sorry. Shelby's weight was 37 pounds. So if you guessed 37 pounds, then you guessed it right. So Cassie did share a little bit of me at the emergency room on Facebook and Instagram, and um, many of you said that you were praying for me. I do appreciate the prayers. Um, if you would, say a prayer for Cece, um, that she uh, heals up without any problems and uh, improves past her cough and um, whatever was going on with her. So thank you so much for following along with our family. We hope you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time.